Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's going on on this beautiful Thursday? What's going on? What's going on with y'all? I am so happy to be up here with you all to share the word for today. Okay, I'm coming from Proverbs chapter 10. Chapter 10, okay? And the verse is chapter verse 23, okay? And it reads, Doing wrong is like a joke to a fool. Hmm. But wisdom is pleasure to a man of understanding. I'm going to repeat that. Would y'all like me to? I think I should. Doing wrong is like a joke to a fool. Y'all see my expression on my face. But wisdom is pleasure to a man of understanding. Look, a lot of people out here today, I I you know, I put I will raise my hand and say I have been a fool, okay? I'm not going to point the finger at anyone else. I'm pointing the finger at me cuz I've been a fool before. Have you? Don't lie and say you haven't because you know you have. We all have been foolish at some point in our life. We all have made some wrong decisions. We all have done some wrong things. We all have been what? You know what? The meaning of a fool. You want to know the meaning of fool? Fool means a person who acts unwisely or imprudent. A silly person. And there's some similar words that I want to relate to a, a person that's a fool. Okay? An idiot. I ain't calling you an idiot. I'm just saying that's a similar word compared to fool. Okay? Blockhead. Loon, goon, chump, thick head. Have you been a fool? Have your mind been clouded with a whole bunch of mess that you couldn't think right because you was caught up in the wrong thing instead of thinking with the clear mind? Have you? I know I have. Come on, if you want to be honest, if you want to be serious, if you want to be transparent right now you're gonna raise your hand because we all have been a fool we all we've all made mistakes bumped our head you know but a, a person that is wise is what it's a person that's that has um good understanding they're seeking the lord we was just talking about wisdom last week weren't we well evidently holy spirit had me he, he had my mind and he had my ears drawn to that because I was, this morning I was um, listening to my Bible, you know, on, um, I have an app on my phone and I'll, I'll push play for certain things and certain chapters and I'll go through and listen to it while I'm doing certain things and, you know, organizing my day and whatever, whatever, whatever. Long story short, I was listening to it and I had already listened to it twice and I wanted to hear it again. And that was the main scripture that stuck out to me. So I know God wanted to speak to me personally. But he also wanted me to share. Hey, I wanted to share what I learned with you all. So with that being said, doing wrong is like a joke to a fool. You know, a person, a fool who do wrong, they don't have no problem. They, they think it's good. You know, that's another scenario. A fool thinks everything is a big joke and they keep doing the same thing over and over again because number one, they haven't learned their lesson. Number two, they like doing the foolish things that they do. They like staying in the wrong. They like they like bringing drama. You don't want to be around that. You don't want to be around that. You want to pray that your inner circle of people that you hang with, even you want to make sure that you're producing positivity, wisdom you know you want to attract wisdom in your life you want to bring wisdom into other people's lives you want in your inner circle those who are full with wisdom and if you have been around foolishness or you have been that fool you want to learn from that you want to um uh, basically build character from those situations share your testimony so that people won't make those same mistakes again hopefully you know what i'm saying the definition, excuse me, the definition of wisdom is the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. The quality of being wise. I'm going to repeat it again. Wisdom means 
the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. The quality of being wise. When you're a person of wisdom, you've experienced some things and those things that you've experienced have made you a better person. You know what I'm saying? When you have wisdom, you, you have the quality uh, experience, like I said before. You have the quality of knowledge. You're, you're learning. You're constantly growing. You're constantly studying things and looking up things and putting yourself around people that you can grow from. You know, you, you, you choose to sit there and say, hmm, God, should I do this or should I do not? That's good judgment. It's the quality of being a wise person. And that's what we want to do, y'all. A, a person that is wise is a, is a man or a woman that's, that have understanding. They're able to understand when someone's done them wrong, right? And they're willing to, you know, sit back and say, you know what? Okay. What they did was wrong. Yeah, it was wrong. But I'm willing to um, observe that person and uh, really look at the root of why they did what they did. And you know what I'm going to do? Instead of totally writing them off, I'm going um, to pray for them. I'm going to be wise how I deal with them from now on. Because I need to be wise. Because that's how I got, got my head bumped last time. But... I'm going to walk in wisdom and I'm going to choose to pray because God prayed for me. Someone prayed for me. Someone prayed for my foolish tale when I was acting up. Another thing I want to, I uh, jotted down some notes before I decided to do this video. And I was thinking about the fact that uh, a person of wisdom, they think before they do something, right? Yeah. You think before you do something, and you're not quick to judge. When you are a man or a woman of wisdom, you're not quick to judge. You know, um, you're not quick to judge people, but you're you're quick to judge yourself. Because if you're a man or a woman of wisdom, right, you're willing to judge yourself and get yourself in check, get yourself in order. A lot of times, there's a lot of people out on this earth, they're doing a lot of judging. Come on, raise your hands. You admit you've judged people. You've prejudged them based off of how they look instead of giving um, giving them an opportunity to open their mouth and giving them an opportunity to get to know them before you say, uh, they like this and uh, they like that. No, look, instead of judging people, we need to be willing to judge ourselves. Look at ourselves in that mirror. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Hello, Kawana. Girl, what you going to do different today that you 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 didn't do yesterday? And what decision you go, you know what I'm saying? We have to be willing to judge ourselves. Because if we judge ourselves, we will keep people from judging us. Number one, we will keep Christ from judging us because we we willing to take heed to hearing who? Holy Spirit, his voice. You know? Holy Spirit lives inside of us, y'all. It's a soft it's a soft still voice and it, it's always telling you don't look too hard. Turn your head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Seriously. Seriously. You know, the old, old cartoons, you know, the old, old, old cartoons back in the day, they would have a, a little devil um, on one side and an angel on the other. And it would be the little cartoon character and it'd be like, the angel would be like, don't you go ahead. You can go that way. And you better not. You know, I know y'all think I'm savvy. But I wanted to give y'all a visual because that's the visual that I just had when I was thinking about the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit being inside of us. You know, when we get caught up in our flesh, we do what our flesh wants us to do instead of doing what Holy Spirit is telling us to do. So I just encourage you all, look, walk in wisdom. Don't be foolish. And if you have been a fool, pick up, learn from your situation and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Remember that scripture. I want that scripture to be embedded within your heart. Doing wrong is like a joke to a fool. When a, a fool don't have no problem with doing wrong. They think it's a big joke. They get a good kick, a good laugh out of it. And they, they like bringing about chaos. They like causing confusion. They like drama. You don't want to be around somebody like that. You don't. You want to be around somebody that has wisdom, that's willing to work things out, willing to compromise, willing to sit back and 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 say, you know what? Let's let's do a plan. You know, a person that's 
quick to listen and slow to speak. Sometimes we can run our mouths too much and we can blabber and just, we can kick people out our li our lives because of our mouth, y'all. So I encourage y'all, walk in wisdom, okay? And stay away from the food. Even if it's you, you need to get you right because you don't want to be representing yourself as a foolish person here on this earth, okay? I love you all. I pray that you all have a blessed, magnificent evening on this Thursday. Stay warm. It's actually pretty nice outside, but it's still cold to me. Still a little cold to Kiwana, okay? I like to stay warm, <laughs> even though I like the winter. Ain't that crazy? Look, y'all have a blessed evening. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Be strong and courageous. Hey, Joshua 1 and 9. God bless you all. This is Coach Brickhouse signing off for today, telling you I love you. Have a blessed one.